Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legends, and I've got something for you today. <laughs> uh, it's a new concoction that I came up with, uh, I call it uh, Imperial Barbecue of Impending Despair. Now of course the title is too long, didn't fit the in-game tax box, so I'll just call it Barbecue of Despair. Uh, and you've guessed right, it's a deck uh, based off an... Uh, built around Altar of Despair. Here it is. Uh, sacrifice a creature to summon a creature from your deck that costs one. Then increase the cost of creatures this summons by one. Basically you just cycle through the uh, cards in your deck, uh, summoning a bigger and bigger stuff. Um, and this deck does wonders. Of course you might say it's a bit greedy. We've got 16 cards and a 7 plus Magicka. But don't worry. You've got plenty of ramp, and there's plenty of room to do whatever you want. Uh, plenty of removals and plenty of um, workarounds to gain the upper hand against uh, almost anything. I've tested it a lot, and I'd say 90% win rate so far for me. Um, Let's get over the deck quickly and I'll explain why and how exactly it works. Okay, so we've got Execute, just Scouting Patrol. This is your main, uh, one of the main cards that you will um, start spawning around to um, to enable your uh, Altar of Despair. Ungolim, Barrel Stalker, Boomer Profiteer, Crassius Favor, more tokens to use Altar with. Thieves Guild Recruit, uh, of course this can be used as well. Grizzly Gourmet, Enderol Mastermind, Mummify to copies. Necromancer's Amulet, Sanctuary, Pep, Transitor Shrine. I notice we've got only two copies of Amulet and Shrine uh, in case of removal. Uh, but your, um, I'd say your optimal board will be a Necromancer's Amulet, a Transitor Shrine, and two Altars of Despair active. Uh, Edict of Azura to copies, Merchant's Camel, Morquater's Scourge, Cauldron Keeper to three copies. At one point, you'll begin spawning those Keepers and uh, uh, stuff will get pretty insane pretty fast. Uh, just think about multiple sacrifices, you'll just pop out more and more stuff. Uh, three copies of Piercing Javelin, Shadow and Priest, Thorn Hiss, Mage, Altar of Despair. Yeah, already said that. Apex Wolf, uh, Card Drawing and some Heal. Uh, Ordinary Necromancer, Praetorian Commander, once this hits the board uh, via Altar or through hand, uh, Whatever you summon is going to be way bigger. Uh, Dark Harvester, Debilitate to copies. Gentleman Jim Stacy, excellent to deal with uh, with uh, people that like to keep uh, their um, combo cards in hand, and when they're left with only those, and uh, surprise, <laughs> you have to give one to me. Uh, Yarl Bolgruff, you'll get a lot of wins with Yarl, basically, because Alta will just pop out new stuff, summon new stuff, and you can, at one point, if your enemy is pretty much drained out, his hand is pretty much shut out, um, you just drop Yarl, uh, end your turn, and uh, the game is over. Uh, Journey to Sovereign Guard, um, this is good against decks that also use Journey. And plus, you've, you're gonna uh, cycle a lot through your deck with two active uh, Alt of Despair. Uh, it's best that you keep one for the end when you journey, play the last altar, and you'll just spawn crazy big stuff. Uh, Seducer Darkfire. Now, Seducer Darkfire is a great addition, and I really like that I added it to this deck, to this build. Uh, what it does, well, let me tell you for short. Um, it's shut, it shuts down Market Assassin, it shuts down Imperial Abomination, uh, it shuts down Conscription. Uh, it can do, you can do crazy stuff with it. Uh, Dawn's Wrath, one copy, two copies of Eclipse Baroness, Blood Magic Lord, Red Brahmin, Mani Marco, Mirak, Odaving. Oops, low battery there. Uh, Odaving and Parthenax. Okay, so um, this is the deck, and what you can pull off, uh, let me give you some, uh, some previews. So you can, uh, you can do this, right? <laughs> 
or you can do this. Yeah, pretty nasty. Uh, so, so far, 90% win rate for me. Um, feel free to test it out. Feel free, also works in casual. Uh, feel free to, um, I don't know, leave a comment below with your suggestions or improvements. Um, and uh, let's uh, play some games on ladder. <laughs> okay, so left my phone charging for a bit while I went out with the dog. And uh, here we are, first game. Uh, I don't like these cards. Playing against a warrior. We've got a multitude of uh, of warriors that we might be facing. Like, uh, I don't know. Um, Journey warrior, Ramp Rage warrior, Agro warrior, Dragon warrior. This could be Dragon warrior. Uh, okay. I'll contest that with my Indoro Mastermind. Got, already have a, a lot of high costs, uh, and I'm already into full magic and next turn. Like, uh, I can do some serious damage. Ah, there's nothing to worry about. I will drop Merchant's Camel, and I will keep. Um, I'll keep Mummify. Sorry, Manny Marco, that have to go. Spine of Elder's Blood. It could be a Dragon Warrior. So far, all the signs are there. Uh, I'm going to drop a Sanctuary Pat. And I'm going to shackle um, the robot, the Dwemer. Why? Because I don't want it to trade into my Sanctuary Pet. Dushnik. Oh, that is excellent. A Dushnik has been played. That means, uh, a lot less, uh, we can be a lot less fearful of our supports getting removed. I'm not going to drop Alter right right away. We've got six Magicka. I want to make the best of it. So I will trade into the Dushnik. And I'll drop the other Sanctuary Pat and uh, continue to block the Dwemer. Indra Mastermind gives us Cauldron Keeper. Excellent. Happy trigger. Wants to go for face. Another spine of Elder's blood. Mm, I'll trade. But what to do next? Uh. I will play Apex Wolf. I'll play it into the fuel lane. Yep, more face. Oh, and here's Mummify. <laughs> and are we going to see a removal of the Apex Wolf? Depends. My opponent runs and drive mad. Or fell the mighty. No. Young mammoth. Uh. I'm going to drain for four. Keep me afloat a bit. And I'll just uh Don's Wrath the Shadow Lane. Have a lot of cards in hand. And thank you. Thank you very much. I will play Brewer Prophet here. But first let's uh, hit and drain for four more. 
Let's play Murkwater Scourge. And that's that. Parthenex. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Dragon Aspect. Probably... Yeah, there's one more. <laughs> Goodbye, Pixwolf. <coughs> Praetorian Commander. Oh, I'm going to overdraw this one. Debilitate. I don't think Debilitate would have been excellent against this lineup of dragons. I'm going to mummify Parthenex. Just in case, my opponent, uh, we we didn't we don't know the third shout, the zero cost shout. Maybe it could be actually a uh, salt tear, and the salt tear basically will just bring back uh, Parthenex, which we don't actually want. Let's steal the hug leave. Mine now. We will drain for three more, and I will trade my Mokwana Savage against that mummy. Get a curse. Pretty safe on cards. The Red Year. That was harsh. I, I only stole like the hug leaves. <laughs> Jigalag's incursion. Okay, now we've got Journey. Now what to play? Let's play Art of Despair. How can I How can I we got uh, Crassius Favor. We'll gain some HP. And let's drop Cauldron Keeper. And... This time we get... Shadowfin Priest and Thieves Guild Recruit. The waters of life. Okay. Call of Valor. Yeah, that was the last shout, so uh, we don't have to worry about uh, Soltairs. Oh. Oh, wow. Is this really a Ramp Rage Warrior? Wow, I got tricked. <laughs> we must protect our that was epic. I didn't expect that. Probably going to see a lot of big stuff. Like all the dragons that we nailed uh, up until now. Yeah. Good thing, bringing back Dushnik, removing that altar. Let's play uh, Necromancer's Amulet. And uh, transform Falkry Defiler into a cookie. And we got a Javelin. I'm not going to hit face. But I will get a Curse of on Spine of Elder's Blood in case it wants to trade with my Eclipse Baroness. Oh, he'll just die. Okay, more face. Mm. Got a Barrel Stalker, but let's use... this dude right here and let's see what my opponent uh, will give me heal be needing a poultice. goodbye because I just uh, I just used the car that uh, my opponent just gave me and I healed Cauldron Keeper back. 
to its full HP. Uh, the fuel lane is full of cookies. <laughs> and sweet rolls. Titular the Betrayer, and we'll most likely see um, like a crossbow. They got dagger. Really keen on getting rid of that cauldron keeper, aren't we? Let's see what happens now. Mm, decisions, decisions. Unstoppable rage. Well, okay, I didn't expect this one. It was so nicely set up. Well done, my friend. Now the question is, will my opponent overdraw or not? Nope. Stopped at exactly 10 cards. <laughs> ah, and the second Dushnik. Hmm. Oh, there's Alter. Let's silence Chichiro and Blood Magic Lord gives us Race Dead. I'll use that. We got some nice value. Oh, that Race Dead. A spine of Elder's Blood and a Murkwater Scourge. Night Helen Lord. Oh boy. What is he going to do with that? He, can't, he just can't put it there and not expect, like. I don't know. I have no clue. It could be an unstoppable rage. <clears throat> Squish the wimpy. And uh, it was used on Gentle on Jim Stacy. So the card I'm going to give my opponent is a curse. Because all the other cards are pretty important to me. There's a curse going for... Okay. Oh, that was nasty. Well, we're not going to be slaying, gaining uh, blood magic actions right now. Olivine. Olivine. And Olivine clears everything. Uh, let's quickly pass through this. Uh, let's get rid of Chichiro. And we have the board to push for lethal. I mean, currently we have 21 damage. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on, so I can push for lethal. Um... I'm keeping that last altar for Journey, so when we will play Journey, we'll be able to drop altar and start start putting up big stuff. And Shadow from Priest taking care of Murkwater Scourge. Uh, what will be my Opponent's next play. Okay, guard. That's fine by me. We can pretty much uh, think that we are kind of safe against support removals. 
a lot haven't been played, meaning no more support removals. Let's drop Indra, see what it gets us, and a Crassius favor. And uh, I'm gonna deal some damage. And my opponent will be left with just one HP. One, just one. <laughs> Let's see what Alter gives us. And Alter gives us another another Brotherhood Assassin. We got Partha next. And I think this is game over. Oh, that's big. I don't tell me it's gonna be unstoppable rage. Not now. <laughs> yep, there it is. I told him just healed up four, six times three. That's a lot. Now I need to think, oh, low battery again, <laughs> oh, this match has been uh, up and running, I think we've got 20 minutes already, goodbye Javelin, cross your favour and let's start the cycle. Okay, Merchant's Camel, let's play that. And uh, we got another altar. This is the last altar that we have. Yeah. Good thing we kept it. <laughs> How about that? So we kept the last out of despair. I want to see what kind of shots we get. <clears throat> we got a Salter. Which is good if we want to bring. Actually, we can bring Monte Marco. And then use Monte Marco to drop Knight Talon Lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, where are you? There it is. Marty Marco. Wow. That was big. Fill the mighty and... Let's try and gain some HP. And uh, let's drop. Oh, could be dropping Thornius Mage. I really want to ensure my survivability. So, debilitate at first. And uh, I think this is it. Yeah, my opponent just remained with no answer to my ball. Wow, this game took forever. But proves the point. Proves the point. <laughs> so that's it for me after a lot of wins and uh, a lot of fun.
<laughs> I'm calling this a night. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers.